the American Tobacco Trail, a rail to trail conversion that's just over 22 miles long and is part of the East Coast Greenway. If you travel this trail heading north, you finish at an iconic landmark. God, that was beautiful what I do. I started this trail at its southernmost trailhead in Wake County. I'll break this trail into four sections, rural, light suburban, suburban, and urban. The rural section is eight miles of crushed gravel. The gravel is the most finely crushed gravel that I've ever ridden at, smooth as silk. This section has nine road crossings. Two of the crossings are underpasses, and the remaining seven aren't very congested, but they are crossing roads with higher speed limits, so be cautious. Many of these crossings have trailhead parking for those who want a shorter journey. Just under eight miles in is New Hope Church Road. This starts the light suburban section. The gravel ends and the trail is now dual surface for the next three miles, with a lined two lane pavement section on the west side of the trail and a gravel strip on the east side. I noticed the gravel strip was mainly used by dog walkers, so I stuck to the paved portion. There is an uptick in trail traffic on this section due to the fact it's running through a more populated area. Despite this, it still feels secluded with thick rows of trees flanking the trail and hiding the suburbia from view. There are only three road crossings for this section and all have trailhead parking. Just under 12 miles into the ride, the trail crosses Scott King Road. This is what I'll call the suburban section. Starting here, the trail is just pavement. There are five road crossings over the next three miles, but one is an underpass and the other is a bridge. Just over 12 miles, the trail crosses Massey Chapel Road. On the other side is a sidewalk to the right and a dirt trail straight ahead. Stay on the pavement and turn right.
Just over 13 miles is the first crossing with a traffic signal, and it's needed to cross the busy Renaissance Parkway. Less than a mile later, the trail crosses over Interstate 40 on a bridge. This bridge was completed in 2014. That marked the completion of the American Tobacco Trail. Just after the I-40 bridge, the trail gets a bit quirky. At Hightail Drive, the trail goes to the right along the sidewalk. The trail stays on sidewalks for the next mile or so. The walks are well marked with a dashed yellow line in the center. After crossing NC 54, the trail turns right again. Then a block or so later turns left into an office center. Just follow the dash yellow line through this section and you'll get through it. After passing an apartment complex, the trail comes to a T intersection. To the right is the spur to a parking lot. To the left is the last six miles of the trail. Good morning. The remainder of the trail is what I'll call the urban section. It is the most developed and has 19 road crossings. The busier crossings either have a traffic signal or a bridge, so interaction with vehicle traffic is kept to a minimum. I did encounter a section of trail that was closed due to construction. The detour was less than a mile and well marked. At this point, the trail is in Durham proper. But with the exception of a few spots, it still felt secluded with trees lining the trail. Just short of the University Avenue Bridge, the Durham skyline comes into view. On the other side of the underpass for NC-147 is the American Tobacco Campus. To the left is the American Tobacco Company building. To the right is the Durham Bulls Athletic Center, home of probably the most well-known minor league ball club, the Durham Bulls. I was disappointed that I forgot my mask. COVID restrictions were in place and I couldn't go into the gift shop and grab a Durham Bowl souvenir. I did, however, take a break and eat a protein bar on the front steps. All that was left after that was just a 22 and a half mile ride back to my truck. You really think travels that far out of have a damn stewardess on it, don't you think? I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed riding this trail. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more trails. Pavement, gravel, and dirt, I ride them all. And as always, keep biking.